these are my prediction for paper one aka a level chemistry exam 2025 after analyzing the past five years exams i found certain trends in the type of question that will come in the exam and i split the type of questions into topics that will be in the exam almost definitely will be in the exam and then topics which are most likely to be in the exam because they haven't featured lately and then topics which are less likely to be in the exam so let's start with the topics that that will almost certainly will be in your exam this year. Never ever seen a paper one exam without a question about pH calculation. Last year, the question was about calculating pH for um, basic solution. So probably this year they will ask you about the pH of a weak uh, acid. Also buffers didn't come last year in the exam. So probably will be in the exam this year. And also the pH curves haven't been in the exam for quite few years. So probably will be in the exam this year as well. Thermodynamics will always be in the exam. There will always be a question about thermodynamics. So born haber cycle, entropy of solution and reaction feasibility. They don't have to have everything in the same question, but usually the born haber cycle is quite common. So probably you're gonna have a question about that this year. Uh, last year, there was nothing about entropy change. So probably there will be a question about entropy change this year. Equilibria for the gaseous reaction. There will always be a question about these type of reactions and the equilibrium reaction and calculation of the Kp and partial pressure. Also, there is also always a question about the use of the uh, ideal gas law. So make sure that you know how to do this calculation. Electrochemical cells will always be in the exam. There will always be a question about electrochemical cells. The electrochemical series comes in the exam every other year, and it was in the exam last year. So it's quite less likely to be in the exam this year. And when they ask you this year, probably they're gonna get you a particular electrochemical cell with a certain reaction and ask you questions about this one. Last year as well, there was a question about the lithium ion batteries. So this year, probably they're gonna ask you about fuel cells. Transition metals, their complexes, and the equi-ion, the shape of the transition metal complexes, and the substitution reactions, all of that, it will always be in the exam. Usually one or two whole questions, most of the time two different questions about these topics. So make sure that you understand this topic very well, because definitely there will be a question about that in your exam. Time of flight mass spectrometry has been very common over the last three years. And there's always this question where they give you the kinetic energy of the ions inside the spectrometer. And they ask you to calculate the relative atomic mass uh, or the atomic mass of the ion, not the relative atomic mass. And also they ask you sometimes um, as part of the whole question to calculate relative atomic mass of one of the um, uh, atoms. So make sure that you know how to use this equation, how to and practice this type of question. And finally, there will always be something related to titration and calculation of concentration from titration. The titration can either be acid base or could be a redox titration. So just make sure that you know how to use the equations and the balanced equation to calculate the concentration. Then there are topics which are most likely to be in the exam this year because they are quite common and hasn't been in the exam last year or the last few years. The first topic is periodic three elements and their oxides. So last year there was a question about uh, group seven, particularly about chlorine and the disproportionation reactions of chlorine. And there was also a question about group two elements, but there was nothing about periodic three elements and their oxides. So it's very or highly likely that there will be a question about periodic three elements and their oxides oxides this year. Calculation of the enthalpy change using bond enthalpies has been in the exam for quite a few years, so make sure that you know how to do that. Ionic compounds, covalent compounds, and intermolecular forces, how this affects the melting point. This, is, uh, this hasn't been in the exam for quite a few years as well, so maybe this year I think it's um, predicted that probably there will be a question about that this year. Ionization energy trends, that's going to be uh, most likely embedded within other questions. So um, if they ask you about very three elements and their oxides, so probably they're going to ask you about the trend of the first ionization energy for very three elements. In terms of molecules, there will always be uh, some questions related to uh, drawing the shape of a molecule, so they're going to ask you to draw some shapes. So um, make sure that you know how to answer these type of questions.
and then making a standard solution it's not very common in the exam however it hasn't been in the exam in the last year just i bought it there just to let you know that it might be in the paper one this year just make sure that you know how to uh, make a standard solution and then topics which are less likely to be in the exam but it's still possible because i cannot actually read the minds of the examiner but these are less likely first of all catalysts um because there was a six mark questions last year about the use of fe2 plus as a catalyst for this whole uh, for this reaction so it's very unlikely that they're gonna ask the same question again this year because it was a whole six mark questions however the catalyst may come in a different form like they might ask you different questions about catalyst but this particular reaction is very unlikely to be in the exam Group 7, especially chlorine and uh, the disproportionation reaction of chlorine. There was a whole question about that last year. Very unlikely that you're going to have the same question again this year. And if they ask you about group 7 elements, it's going to be about the different, um, the other elements, maybe the trends of the oxidation and reduction properties of the halides uh, and halogens. And then group 2 and their properties, there was a whole a long question last year about group two elements and their properties so it's quite unlikely that it will be in the exam again this year as i said it's probably uh very three elements and their oxides that are the one that's going to be in the exam this year and then 